Well, welcome to our uh, self-catering website with the uh, bright Joomla availability calendar installed. Uh, the way this component works is extremely useful. Uh, we have a site here where we don't take bookings directly online, uh, but we do that via email and telephone. And what we've done here is installed the component really to provide these facilities. Firstly, we've got an availability calendar in a module position here which the visitors can click down and look at various periods in a small box here. We've used an image really to show the legend over here actually in an article text. So you can either drop down or browse through the periods here. Uh, so we wanted something simple we could put on the front page. And in more detail then we wanted to show for example the availability for the whole year and we've done that by showing 12 periods uh, and again link that directly to the menu. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And the th next thing we wanted to do was to put in the price band. So here we've got colour charts uh, which reflect the prices throughout the year. So our visitors can see at a glance uh, what the pricing is. Now the way that's put together is uh, when you order from Bright uh, you'll get an email uh, with a download instruction. Unzip the file when you download it and you'll get two uh, items, one component and one module. Use the extension manager to upload and install. Once you've uploaded and installed, go to Booking Calendar for Joomla. You'll see here the two that I've just shown you on the front. Uh, if you've got a, another cottage or something, you can put another one in. So uh, here I'm going to put the title in. I, I'm just going to call this Demo so we know what we're dealing with. And all you do then is save and close. So you're just basically giving that a name at that point. The next thing is is to set up the legends that suit you. So here I've got free, booked and provisional. And the order they're in is free is number one, booked is number two, and provisional is number three. I've set these in an order of, uh, if you like, popularity. Free, uh, everything's free before it's booked. And we do more bookings, hopefully, than we will provisionals. So uh, that's the order I want to show them in. If I want to create a new legend, all I have to do is say new there. Let's say I want to create one where I close the uh, cottage for maintenance. Give it a title, give it a colour. And these are hex, so 000 will give me black. And over here, the description for the legend. So I've now got a fourth one in, which is maintenance for use with this calendar. If I go back to my calendars now. Uh, how can I actually update it? We'll just go across now to Edit Availability. There's my calendar, my demo calendar. I just go to the periods here. Everything's free, as I say, at the moment. If I want to book, we do Saturday to Saturday bookings. Well, all I'm going to do here is click on the Saturday once, Sunday once, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that's now booked. I've got a provisional booking for the uh, three days, a three day here, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So Friday once, it goes to booked, click it again, it turns blue. So one click, two clicks, one click, two clicks. So that's one click on, two clicks on, three clicks on. So I've got some maintenance planned here on the Tuesday the 7th of May, one click, two click, three clicks and that'll put that in there. If you make a mistake, it's very easy, just click it again and it'll go round. So go black, go green, pink, blue. So you, very easy to maintain, very easy to run. So let's put that back and close. So I think you'll see within a few minutes, we've actually created a calendar, created our legend and put the availability on. So, okay, how do you use it? Well, the two ways of using it. One is you go to the main menu, new, select booking calendar for Joomla, pick off the calendar that you want to show, give it the title so that your visitors can see what they're looking at. And then go to basic just underneath and pick off. I want to show and say the whole year again, so I go for 12 months. Do I want to show the legend? Yes. 
do I want to allow front-end editing? Well, we don't on this site, but if you switch that on, it means when uh, managers and admin are logged in at the front end, they can actually edit directly onto the calendar. So I can save that to no, save and close. I've already got one with that, so let's just, there's an error. Let's change the alias to something we haven't got. Save and close. Go to the front of the site. Go to demo. And you'll now see the bookings we just made displayed on the front of the site. To get them to a module position, very easily, you just go to module manager, new, and then you find the uh, Joomla uh, booking module. There's booking calendar for Joomla. Give it the title you want. Choose the calendar. Go back to basics, how many you want to show. If you just show the one, then obviously you've got the drop down box and so on. And again, you, whether you want to show the legend or not, and the beginning of the week, all these options exist. Select the position. Make sure it says published, and then pick off the pages you want to show it on. Go to the front of the site. So there it is on that page with a legend underneath. So very easy to install, very flexible. And as I say, from our point of view, it's uh, perfect for uh, uh, self-catering where you really don't want to uh, uh, take bookings uh, through PayPal or anything else, uh, but you want to use an inquiry form. You may be using an agent, so uh, in which case they'll be taking the bookings, but you just want to mirror the bookings on your site. So that's how it's done. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed and uh, found this video useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching.